The race to dominate the skies is heating up, as hypersonic missiles become a reality for Russia and China. But while these nations focus on speed, America has a secret weapon in the works. The possible SR-72 bomber and Project Mayhem. This top secret program is developing the cutting edge technology needed to bring the mysterious hypersonic plane to life. The legacy of the SR-71 has inspired this new generation of aircraft and it's poised to revolutionize air defense and give America the upper hand in the hypersonic arms race. With stealth leading the way and speed making a comeback, the SR-72 is set to be the ultimate game changer in the battle for air superiority. Today on High Tech, we are going to explore Project Mayhem and what we know so far. And if you enjoy this type of content, please consider clicking the like button and subscribe button. The world is on the brink of a hypersonic revolution and the race for speed supremacy has never been more intense. In 2018, Russian President Vladimir Putin shocked the world by announcing the development of the KH-47M2 Kinzhal, the world's first operational hypersonic missile. These weapons are not just fast, reaching speeds above Mach 5, but also incredibly agile, making them nearly impossible to intercept. With Russia and China leading the charge, the US is in a race against time to catch up. In 2004, NASA's scramjet-powered X-43A set a new standard for speed by reaching Mach 9.6. But the competition for hypersonic dominance was just starting. In 2007, rumors began to surface about a secret project by Skunk Works and the Air Force to develop a pilotless, dual-mode scramjet-powered successor to the legendary SR-71 known as the SR-72. By 2015, the SR-72 was no longer a secret, with Lockheed Martin advertising that it could be in service by 2030. After Putin's announcement, any public mention of the SR-72 was removed, raising questions about whether the project had been abandoned or moved to classified funding. Meanwhile, America's competitors have revealed boost glide vehicles similar to ballistic missiles, but much faster, capable of reaching speeds of Mach 20. However, how these weapons change course remains a mystery, with experts suggesting it may involve a combination of gas-powered thrusters and hydraulic control surfaces. The other frontier in hypersonic technology is the hypersonic cruise missile, powered by a supersonic combustion ramjet engine, also known as a scramjet, the same experimental propulsion technology believed to be used in the SR-72. This missile flies similar to an aircraft or suicide drone, but its efficiency drops at low speeds as the engine compression system relies on fast-moving air. This new weapon is not without its challenges, with cost being a major drawback. A recent Pentagon assessment revealed that America's current crop of hypersonic missiles in development might cost between $89.6 million and $106 million each. But the Air Force is not backing down. In August 2020, they created the new program Mayhem with the aim of developing a multi-mission cruiser powered by an air-breathing hypersonic propulsion system. This new generation of hypersonic weapons not only has the potential to change the cost of the game, but also shift the hypersonic military power in the world back to America. According to a contract notice released in December 2021, the goal is to develop a hypersonic multi-mission ISR intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance and strike platform capable of carrying at least three different types of payloads. Two of these payloads are weapons referred to as an area effect and a large unitary payload in Air Force documents and the third is dedicated to the SR-71's specialty reconnaissance. This suggests that the weapon being developed under Project Mayhem is not a hypersonic missile, but a hypersonic drone with similar capabilities as the rumored SR-72. The military is also developing a new type of engine to propel the SR-72, as traditional scramjet engines are not suitable for the multi-mission purpose of Project Mayhem. Lockheed Martin is believed to be working on a combined cycle scramjet that incorporates a traditional jet engine in its design, which would be a significant engineering achievement. However, this is likely the reason for the project being held back. The key to unlocking the full potential of hypersonic technology lies in the development of a new type of engine. Conventional jet engines rely on centrifugal compressors or spinning fan blades, 
to compress the air before mixing it with fuel and detonating it for propulsion. Scramjets, on the other hand, rely on the immense pressure of high-speed airflow to compress the air. This allows scramjets to sustain higher velocities than jet engines, but at lower speeds, the inflowing pressure of the air isn't enough for the scramjet to function properly. This means that a scramjet-powered platform can't fly slow enough to land and can only be used once. But a combined cycle scramjet that incorporates a traditional jet engine could fly like an aircraft and be reused multiple times. This type of engine could revolutionize air travel and defense. The Project Mayhem aims to use this combined cycle scramjet to power a drone utilizing the traditional jet engine to take off and accelerate to around Mach 3 before transitioning to a scramjet that would launch it beyond Mach 5. Once in enemy airspace, the drone could deploy conventional bombs and missiles at targets or conduct reconnaissance before flying back home to rearm and do it all over again, just like Brian Schulz. SR-71 over Libya. The development of scramjet propulsion systems is a daunting task, requiring advanced engineering and cutting-edge technology. To date, no nation has successfully deployed a scramjet propulsion system in a missile or aircraft, though the US has made promising strides. In the fall of 2021, Northrop Grumman conducted a successful flight of a missile-sized scramjet as part of the DARPA's hypersonic air-breathing weapon concept program. And in March 2022, Lockheed Martin followed suit. The technology powering Project Mayhem is an extension of the scramjet systems currently found in HAWC, Hawk. But the scramjets used for Hawk offer only half of the combined cycle recipe needed for a platform like Mayhem or the SR-72. The Air Force still needs to develop a way to incorporate a traditional jet engine into the mix without blocking airflow into the scramjet or making the aircraft too heavy to fly. The hypersonic arms race is a parallel to stealth aircraft technology, and it affects how militaries develop and utilize that technology. America is the global leader in this area, boasting two stealth fighters in service, the F-22 and the F-35, and the world's only operational stealth bomber, the B-2 Sprint. The US also has two next-generation stealth fighters in development plus a successor to the B-2. However, other nations are beginning to field effective counter systems. As stealth technology continued to evolve, nations raced to outdo one another with faster, more agile aircraft that can evade radar detection. But with traditional stealth fighters limited by aerodynamic design, a new approach is needed to stay ahead of the competition. Enter Project Mayhem, a cutting-edge program that aims to develop a hypersonic drone powered by a revolutionary combined cycle scramjet engine. This game-changing technology would allow the aircraft to reach speeds unmatched by traditional stealth fighters leaving enemy defenses in the dust. Able to fly in and out of enemy territory with ease, Project Mayhem's drone could gather intelligence, engage targets, and evade capture, all while keeping pilots out of harm's way. As the arms race for air superiority heats up, Project Mayhem's speed-first approach could be the key to maintaining dominance in the skies. The cost savings of a reusable hypersonic aircraft like the SR-72, powered by a combined cycle scramjet engine, would be immense compared to the $100 million price tag of a single-use hypersonic missile. Instead of relying on costly new weapons, existing munitions could be delivered at hypersonic speeds, making them just as effective. This cutting-edge technology could give the US a strategic advantage over Russia and China. Lockheed Martin teased the possibility of a real-life version of the fictional hypersonic aircraft Dark Star, featured in the film Top Gun Maverick. Skunk Works helped design and build a full-scale model of the aircraft for the film. Though the company has not officially confirmed any connection to the classified Project Mayhem, it's clear that the technology for a multi-cycle scramjet aircraft like the SR-72 is a matter of when, not if. As the stealth advantage of the US narrows and other nations gain technological strength, the urgency for America to develop and field such a platform increases. It is uncertain if Project Mayhem will lead to the development of a vehicle similar to the SR-72 or another hypersonic platform. However, it is evident that the program's multi-cycle scramjet technology is on the horizon. As rival nations gain technological advancements and America's stealth advantage diminishes, the timing of the implementation of this technology is crucial. What do you make of Project Mayhem? Do you think America can successfully develop this technology? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.